In the last video, we saw that we could translate the maximization problem or minimization problem of a two-variable function subject to a single constraint into a system of three equations where we introduced this mu number and we had to solve for x, y, and mu. Now we're going to see that you can actually encode that in a very nice function that we'll call the Lagrangian. Consider the program. We'll denote it by star. The program where we maximize f of x1, x2, subject to h of x1, x2 is equal to some constant c. We form the Lagrangian of star and it's this function script L or L whatever you prefer x1 x2 mu so it's a function of three variables my original x1 and x2 plus this extra parameter that is included because I have one equality constraint and we're going to set this equal to my original function f x1 x2 minus mu times h of x1 x2 minus c. So this is a function of three variables x1 x2 and mu x1 x2 mu. Now let's try to figure out so what are necessary conditions for optimizing L and notice that we no longer have any constraints we just want to optimize this functions this thing right well we have to have that all the partial derivatives of L are equal to zero at, a, at the maximum right so at a optimal point x1 star, x2 star, mu star, we have 0 is equal to the partial of L with respect to x1 evaluated at x1 star, x2 star, mu star. But what's that equal to? Well, I just pass the partial into these guys, and what do I get? I get d, f, dx1 x1 x2 minus mu dh dx1 x1 x2 of course c was a constant here and mu is constant so those are constant with respect to x1 continuing we have the partial with respect to x2 evaluated at this point of course there should be stars here stars everywhere x2 star mu star again we'll have df dx1 or now it's x2 rather x1 star x2 star minus mu star dh dx1 of x1 star x2 star and then our last thing is the partial with respect to mu well if we take the partial with respect to mu the only thing I'm left with is h of x1 x2 minus c and if we look at this these are exactly the equations so these that we found last time 
in the last video. This means that the Lagrange Lagrangian encodes the optimization problem, the constrained optimization problem, The important takeaway here is that the Lagrangian allows us to turn a constrained optimization problem into an unconstrained optimization problem. This is magic, seemingly, but it's not for free. There's a big caveat here. There's a huge caveat that you have to, that you must note. So important warning. So normally this is all, this is all well and good. Everything's fine. But this only works if the constraint qualification that the gradient of the constraint at the optimal point does not equal zero holds. So we could only do this identification if my gradient of the constraint function didn't vanish. Otherwise, L does not encode the constrained optimization problem. In the next video we're going to actually go through an example where we use this Lagrangian explicitly and we'll go through the steps to show you exactly how to apply it.